Hey guys, we're Allie and Gary with Roll With Us DMs, professional game masters with over 17 years of experience that also love to go on some side quests with our friends, which you can see here on our channel. Thank you for checking out our videos. If you haven't already, you should quest down to the subscription button and strike the notification bell so you never miss our content. Our links are in the description below. Consider becoming a channel member to access epic perks, including playing in one of our games. Now, on with the video! <laughs> hey guys, today we're playing the 19th hole module, part of Mansions of Madness by Call of Cthulhu. Call of Cthulhu is a system where you want to roll under your stat using percentile dice. Percentile dice are 2d10. So this would be your 10s place, and this would be your 1s place. Another option is a d100. Although, this doesn't typically stay on a table, so you want to be careful with those. So let's say that your stat for firing a weapon is 50%, and you roll a 55. You can use five of your luck points to make sure that you hit. But what happens if you use all of your luck points? Let's say you're searching a house and you aren't finding any clues. Your keeper may ask for a luck roll to find something that you missed. Or maybe you forgot to pack an extra magazine of ammo. You may be allowed to roll your luck to find an extra magazine in your bag. Also, Call of Cthulhu is a different type of RPG, where maybe running and getting the police is the answer to getting out alive. Fighting isn't always the answer to the problem. Today we're playing the 19th hole. Our investigator group has been hired by a wife, Crystal McMillan, to find her husband, Arthur McMillan, who went missing and the police can't find any leads, and are assuming he left of his own volition with someone else. We pick up with the characters meeting at Crowwood Hall with the wife, Crystal McMillan, um, but first, let's meet our cast. Hi there, I'm Gary, one half of Roll With Us DMs and co-owner of Top Notch Ceramic Trees. The links are in the description. Today I'm playing Sean Davis, boxer extraordinaire. He's a brutish high school dropout who has been hired for this investigation for his brawn. Definitely not his brain. Hello, my name is David Lancaster, and I am playing Call of Cthulhu, the the 19th hole, with uh, Ali, Gary, and a few other individuals. And the game uh, is consisting of where we're helping a wife find her missing husband. Uh, Call of Cthulhu is a really good game for just... Get actually getting into it. My character is an ex-soldier from World War One. He served for the United States. His name is Michael James, and uh, I I really like the role playing, the the games that uh, is offered, and my charity that I am that is put up is for Hope Ministries, which is in South Bend, Indiana place that I worked for and it's for individuals that have had hard times in their lives whether from addictions mental illnesses just losing losing their homes and it's a place for growth uh, it's it's a good place so if you want to check that out I would appreciate it feel free to contact me through uh, Allie or Gary, and uh, I'm looking forward to this Sunday to play the 19th hole. Thank you, and have a good day. Hi, I'm Kai. I'll be playing Annabelle Anderson, an investigative journalist seeking the truth to the strange and mysterious, whether that truth is just an overlooked mundane answer or something more. Hello, my name is Bree. You can find me on patreon.com slash Get your roll on. Uh, I'm going to be playing Avery Batanalia today, uh, but she's a professional gambler, so everyone just calls her Ace. And you realize that there's ice on these stairs. It's so cold down here. Watch your footing. There's ice. This doesn't make sense.
She's gonna grip the railing a little harder as she uh, takes the last few steps onto the floor. Uh, the main storage area in the basement runs the entire width of the clubhouse, uh, north to south. The building stone foundations from the northwest and south walls. On the east side of the storage area, a series of rooms have been constructed out of wood, accessible through simple wooden doors. The area is filled with a huge collection of boxes, crates, and canvas bags, variously containing golfing supplies and goods for the golf shop above. Kitchen utensils, pots and pans, glassware, and other items destined for the restaurant. Uh, tablecloths, towels, and napkins, and just about anything else the golf club might require. At the moment, everything in the area is covered by th thick frost. Uh, by the time the investigators hit the basement's hard pack earth floor, their breath is visible as clouds of frozen moisture. The basement is literally freezing. Uh, the light switch at the bottom of the stair uh, activates and bare bulbs light the interior as well as the wine cellar um, electrics telephone and the external access area uh, so the lights are weirdly on down here but I thought you said the electricity hadn't been installed. Hmm. Yeah. Also sort of strange that they'd turn on on their own, even if they were. Yeah, this is... This, okay, 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 my creep meter is going... Are you kidding? Like a, a this, is why, this is why I got into investigative journalism. For the weird! This is great. This is... Never mind. Never mind. Well, we know, we know that we need to go to the, the furnace room, boiler room. Do you want to head over there? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to check out each room as we go? Hmm. I'll check out the wine cellar. Yeah. Um. Yeah. As you guys move in here, can everyone please give me a con roll? Ooh. Um. Successes. Oh, I got an extreme success. Let's go. Uh, Bless lucky on Sean. How in the heck is that even possible? <laughs> it's that shower, man. The shower did you in. It he did. didn't take a shower. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you're still you're still kinda wet for and like it's just all like freezing. Your hair is now one like solid hunk of ice. Um now you do have luck points. In Call of Cthulhu, you can use luck points to bring that ninety six down to an eighty five, but you would have to use eleven of those luck points. So that is something you can do if you want to. Uh, I do have, I do have 60 luck, but no, I think it makes sense in the story. I took a shower. I'm really cold. Okay. Uh, you are going to take one point of damage. Okay. All right. Uh, as you guys... He sees the little like uh, dews, of, dew drops of moisture like freezing, uh, freezing on him. He takes her scarf, and pulls it off, and wraps it around him. Oh, she's gonna catch a cold down here. Okay, uh, you fiddle with locks. Uh, you fiddle with the keys. Uh, finally, you're able to open the wine cellar door. Uh, the wine cellar is, unfortunately, quite empty. The entire north and south walls are covered in wine racks, while the east wall contains a corral for beer kegs below some open shelving. 
Cold air from the main storage area rushes into the room when the investigators open the door, turning into a roiling ankle-deep mist that largely obscures the dirt floor from view. The wall to the east is stone, while the others are constructed of wood. Um, uh, go ahead and give me a listen roll for anyone who's entered the wine cellar. Cool. Uh, yeah, you guys just are in a cellar. Nothing much happening down here. Okay, let's see. Annabelle is heading for the electrics and telephone. Mm -hmm. uh, the small room contains a series of large electrical junction boxes and smaller telephone access points. A vast array of thick insulated wires and clasped bundles of thinner wires snake up from the electrical boxes, while a much smaller set of wires rises up to the ceiling from the telephone access point. Each of the large electrical boxes displays a bright yellow painted words warning live electricity. Uh, Are you opening any of the boxes, or are you just leaving it alone? So, we were told the electricity wasn't hooked up yet, it, or yeah, not has, working yet, right? Yep, yeah, it hasn't been turned on to the place yet. Yeah. So these wires are all show, like set up for it, but basically the city hasn't turned it on yet. Um, Supposedly. Uh, yep, and from kind of looking around upstairs, you know that not all the fixtures have been um, completely installed yet. Okay. Um, I would like to check around and I'll see if there's some reason things should be still going on. Uh, I'd like to try and do this cautiously. Just going to see if I have anything to make it easier on myself. I did not mean to hit that. I was trying to get to other things. Okay. Well, we're going to keep that luck roll for later, because um, depending on what you do, you may need it. Um. <laughs> um uh, I don't seem to have anything to... helpful. So yeah, uh, she's going to go about this carefully, but if... Uh, as her hands are getting closer to things, if she starts feeling it being, like, warmer or staticky, she's not going to touch it. Okay. But she is going to go look and try and open things to see cool. okay. uh, if as... there's anything on with it. Awesome. Uh, as you get closer, you see two huge wires coming into the central box that are labeled external main and generator backup. Uh, when, as you open the boxes, uh, go ahead and give me an electrical repair roll. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you're really not quite no. sure, like, what all these wires are for. Um, but I'm going to ask you for two more rolls. Uh, give me a spot hidden and a listen. Here's the spot. Okay. Here's the listen. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, you open up these electrical panels and you're just like, you know what? I don't know what any of this is and I'm going to electrocute myself. I am going to use my extreme success in my luck, and I am not going to kill myself today via electricity. And you just <laughs> shut the boxes. Walk away. <laughs> <sighs> your, your luck outwits your perception today. <laughs> it was just getting steadily so much worse. <laughs> Yeah, 99 is rough. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
right, uh, Michael, you head towards the uh, external access door. Is the door open or is it unlocked? Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this one is actually unlocked. Uh, this simple room provides access to a furnace boiler room, uh, the main storage area, and the clubhouse's external through the heavy steel door on the south wall. Uh, you can see that this is locked from the inside. The packed earth floor near the external door is damp from rainwater seeping under the door. A large collection of gardening equipment, hoes, rakes, and so on, some heavier tools, picks and shovels, a bag, a few bags of grass seed, and two new wheelbarrows dominate the northern side of the room. Um, there is otherwise not much else of interest in here. I'll slowly walk in. If I notice, is the temperature still the same as it was in the storage room? Um, you can... Uh, it, as soon as you opened the room, all of, like, the cold air just kind of entered in here. It seems warmer in here, though. Okay. I'm gonna walk up to this door okay. and put my ear to the door to see if I might be able to hear something. Okay. Uh, yeah, you hear a furnace inside um, chugging away doing its thing. I'm gonna check to see if the door is locked. Okay. Nope. You can go ahead and open that door. I'll wait for the rest of the group. Okay. I'm gonna walk out here and say, hey, it's warmer than the external access room. Closer to the furnace room, so that might make sense. Except there's still not supposed to be power. Most well, I guess the water got warm, so <laughs> you got my interest at the word warmer, because it's pretty dang cold down here. I just have my little it's not even like a warmth scarf, it's like a style scarf <laughs> tied around your neck. <laughs> As you guys open and go into that room, the huge furnace and adjacent boilers provide hot water to, to the many radiators situated throughout the clubhouse. A large cold water pipe cuts in through the south wall and an intricate system of plumbing provides cold water to the mansion. Turning off the huge furnace was one of the last things uh, that Cameron... Oh, I, okay, I said it was on. Um, all four walls of this room appear to be thick stone. The northern wall is, unlike the others, whitewashed. Though, uh... Go ahead and give me some spot hidden checks. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Can we see the, the uh, board where it was removed? From where we're at? Uh, you, you guys didn't bust through the ceiling? Um... Like, you guys didn't, like, bust through, like, the basement ceiling kind of a thing? Um. Alright. Um. I'm just concerned with getting warm. <laughs> uh, okay, the whitewashing has cleverly covered a rebuilt section of the wall in the northwest corner. A uh, closer examination reveals that a door leading north once stood in this corner... That's why there was an X. <laughs> uh, yep, so there is a... Right here, um, there looks to be an old door uh, leading north. Sean, do you want to try and open that? So it's been rebuilt. Yeah, uh, it's sure. now a wall. Are you guys going to bust through a wall? Well, I have that four four iron. Yeah, let's do it. I'll hand the four iron to Sean. Okay. What check would you like? Uh, 
Is there any shovels out here in the external access? Yeah, yeah. Anything else other than shovels? I'm sorry, what was the question again? Any other shovel? Any, uh, anything else other than shovels? External access. There was a bunch of different gardening supplies, so... Are you looking for something specific? Well, the gardening supplies, a shovel, hose, it's hose, a point Hose, rakes, shovels, heavier tools, picks, shovels. Something to use on the wall. There's a pick. Take the pick. Okay. Cool. And I'll hand that to Sean and I'll take the four iron back. And we shall supervise. No reason to waste a good golf club. <laughs> Why have golf balls? <laughs> okay. Um, you are able to uh, break down this wall. Guys, actually, I should copy first. Copy. Okay. Uh, do you guys have vision on this map? Yep. Yes. Cool. Yes. Okay. Uh, so this is the wall that you guys have just broken down. Nice art style. Mm -hmm. So much better than the other map. <laughs> okay. Um... I have questions. Uh, as you should. Can everyone please give me a D3 on sanity rolls? How do we do D3? What was that? So let's see, who was that? Uh, Sean, you lose another point of sanity. This is not working. What am I doing? Um, uh, slash roll space D3. So is that one point lost? Uh, yep, that's uh, three points oh, for Ace, sorry, three points mean... for Michael, one point for Annabelle, and uh, Sean. Okay. How would we put that into our sheets since clicking on Sanity uh, you have brings to, up this? You have to do edit first and then uh, change it. Okay. And there's actually an easier thing. Um, if you click on settings, so it's in the same line as skills, combat, backstory, spells. Um, scrolling down on the left, there's controls, and you can do HP, edit toggle, MP, edit toggle if you have spells, but I don't think any of us do. Sanity, edit toggle, and luck, edit toggle. Then it lets you uh, edit your uh, HP, sanity, and luck without having to go into edit mode. Mm. Okay. It, like, makes those boxes uh, editable. All right, thank you. Cool. So settings, uh, left-hand side, controls, you'll see uh, a bunch of toggles. Got it. Thank you.
Um, as you go, uh, give me a, now that you're in here, uh, go ahead and give me another listen check. that I'm pretty appalled by what I'm seeing and and I'm not really focused on uh, anything else. I would think that uh, Annabel would be somewhere between fascinated and yes, uh, appalled. Okay. Uh, Ace and Michael, uh, you guys hear uh, scratching coming from the living quarters. The, the living quarters closed. The door is closed. Yep, the door is currently closed. Okay. Does it sound um, like the same type of scratching that I heard before? It does sound like the same kind of scratching that you heard before. I'll save that. Or so, as we come into this room, right, because we just broke the wall, what exactly are we seeing here? Uh, I see. While you're looking that up, is that does that smell? Was that the smell oh, coming yeah. from this room it that is. we're in? Yep. Mm -hmm. It tells me all about how you guys can actually play golf on the golf course. Yeah, not really the time. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say, Ace probably does want to take some of the like a set of the golf clubs and stuff with her, just as sort of a you know, commemorative nice. in case she does need to go golfing some po at some point. Nice. Love it. Are one of these Arthur? Yes. I knew it! I knew they were hiding him in the walls! <laughs> yeah, he pulls out her notepad where she wrote <laughs> earlier in the wall, check the, for the body in the wall. She's like, that's why they pay me the big bucks. I mean, is this technically in the walls? We had to break through the wall to get in here. Yes, that is technically in the walls. Are they dead uh, yeah, technically they are technically hooked up to machines Page are they still page. alive uh, they are still alive they are hooked up to machines can my investive investigative journalist give me a history some kind of knowledge um Um, nope. Check. I am. I would like to take pictures of all of this, though. Okay. Awesome. Um, do you find uh, two scientists uh, that you are currently unclear of who they are? Uh, Arthur McMillan, who is, seems to be touching a wire, and knocked unconscious over here. It almost looks like he was trying to 
unplug something. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, but these guys are... Ah, uh, these guys are laying on a bed hooked up to, uh, two machines. Your picture. Picture, picture. The pictures. Yeah, we can do pictures. It's all blue. Looks Looks like you've got your next big headline. Yeah. Didn't realize you could generate electricity from a body. That's not what I should be taking away from this, is it? I have no idea. <laughs> do, do we know that... We know that this one is Arthur? Yeah. Uh, yes, you guys We've know seen that this one is Arthur. Yep. And... And he's alive or he's dead? Um, are you attempting to take a pulse? Uh... Are you... are you touching the body? Does that, um... Golf club have a rubber handle? Back during that, during that day, probably not. It'd be leather. Yeah, it would be, yeah. I mean, uh, leather's semi... Yeah. Honestly, my first thought is, it's time to call in the police. This is, this is a horrible scene here. What do you do? We can. So we shouldn't touch anything, and we should get the police involved. That's what you're saying. But if he's hooked up here, we, we don't necessarily want to leave him. I also don't want to touch it and get shocked. Is there a bl any blankets in here? Um, not in here. I take my phone off. <laughs> what are on Wait. these tables for the... Uh, you see a bunch of different tools and electronical... Um, electrical... Uh, Tools and wires and go ahead and let's see. Is, does anyone have any type of scientific or lore type things that they might want to use to roll checks? I have 10 in mechanical repair. That's the base. I also got that. Cool. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. If you it, if that's what you want to roll, yeah, go for that one. Yeah, unless you're going to use locksmith. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not locksmith at the moment. Okay. Oh, I have... What about mechanical repair? Ah, uh, yeah, you can, you can try. Oh, there you go. Um, you think that Arthur was attempting to unplug these machines, and as he went to unplug these machines, the um, the current might have grabbed him and sucked him into whatever these other two might have been doing. I... Yeah. This might be dumb. I take my coat off and go, we have to get him off of there. <laughs> Wrap my coat around my hands. <laughs> Um, Ace, you should probably let me do that. Thank uh, you, buddy. You know, passing my coat. <laughs> but yeah, all the science stuff. This, this is above my pay grade. I was gonna suggest: is this a door? Is this door closed? 
Because, like, uh, opening doors, that, that's more my speed. Um, you have heard something scratching at that door? Which was, it was yeah. the same, I was gonna say it was the same type of scratching that I heard before, but we started looking at the scientists and everything, so I didn't say anything. So, I don't know, he's, what, what do you think? You think I should try to pull him off that thing first? Yes. Or you think that we should, yeah? Okay. Yes. I mean, if his heart is still intact, the sooner we get him off, the better. Can I, so we can might I get a bonus of, if we take him back alive. Can I can I make a cursory uh, medicine observation to see if uh, like if I can make any heads or tails of maybe I see his chest rise and see if he's breathing or anything like that? Uh, yeah. Um, and go ahead and take a a bonus to that because that's pretty easy. Okay. Uh, first aid. Oh my goodness. Um, you did that regular nice. though, you didn't do that with a bonus. Okay. I think does a uh, bonus give you a plus ten or a plus twenty? Uh okay. Do you want to give yourself three luck points to make that a success? Yes. Okay. Alright. Uh yeah, you see that Arthur is alive. He is still breathing. Okay, yeah, we're getting it off. What about, uh, I mean, I'm not, like, the smartest, uh, one of us, but, um, what if we cut the power? I think that's what he was trying to do. I don't even know why this place has power. But there's, like, there's, like, the, the power room. It's, like, uh, back in the basement. Maybe, uh, maybe we can kill the power this entire place, and then, like, this room has no power. Uh, what about these two guys in the machines? They're gonna kill them to turn the power off? I mean, obviously, I thought that it was important to try to, to turn it off. Uh, yeah, but... <sighs> the power source is coming from right here, correct? Uh, I'm pretty yes. sure they're the power source. It's going here to the generator. Well, the generator is where you had, well, you almost got electrocuted, so mm -hmm. the generator's right there, and then there's the source right there, so that means that's going into the machines. It's going like, into uh, the control I'm panel. I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. But there's also that scratching at the other side of the store. I mean, what, what do we think? So, think that they got some kind of dog or something in there? It's probably their evil, like, hamster, lab hamster or something. <laughs> okay, um, over here looks really covered in electricity. What about on these scientists? Um, they looked up, they look to be hooked up to something. Um, something that you've never seen before. There is wires coming from underneath their shirts. Their heads are encased in some type of wire apparatus that's uh, wires seem to be like going into their into their skulls do they seem to be alive uh they definitely seem to be alive all right um i'm and gonna do something that could pretend now the wires coming off of them i take it there's then some going towards this machine uh-huh yep okay I am going to say a quick prayer and a potential sorry, and I am going to take out my scaffold from my medical kit, and I am going to try and cut one of the sets of wires from one of these people. Electricity! Electricity! Metal and electricity! <laughs> gonna take my hat off, hold the scalpel, and <laughs> see how that goes. Who has the gloves? Ace has the gloves. Give her your gloves. No, I want to pull him off. <laughs> yeah, this is getting really uh, impatient. If I'm right. I think these two are charging that machine somehow, and then the power is going out. So if we can disconnect them, I think the power will stop. 
he's just uh, what you call I it? I could be she, completely off base here. She rips off her gloves, just tosses them at Annabelle. Whatever you're gonna do, do it quickly. I want this guy off the machine. What I'm trying to do? I'm gonna attack. Go at the wires that are connected to these people. Awesome. Uh, go ahead and give me a first aid. Okay. Uh... If she can't do it, I can. I'm trained in first aid and medicine. I'm trained a little bit in first aid. Is medicine Ooh. a separate thing? I'm doing first aid. Nice. Extreme luck. Extreme success, I mean. Okay. Um... You wake up, Donald. What? Uh... Oh my god! Oh! That was intense! I, um... Who are you? What are you doing in my laboratory? Yeah, not the time for that, um... What the fuck is going on? Turn this machine off. There's man dying over there. Oh god, what is he doing? What? Dying. He's dying. Can we stop that? Um, he immediately uh, comes over and starts flipping switches and pushing buttons and uh, turning off the machine. Wow, I... All right. Whew. Um, good job, good job, Annabelle. I'm Arthur, take kind the gloves of... back from her. <laughs> uh, you guys watch as a ghostly figure, um, kind of goes back into Arthur. Um, this time we're going to make a sanity roll. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. I am all good. Sean, you are... Oh, your sanity is only so-so. Um, I'm not sure I have the right sanity on my character sheet. What is... What is... What is sanity supposed to be? Um, it's calculated based off the other things that you've put into things. Yeah, I think it's based on your power... Yeah. Okay, well, power 60, so maybe that's right. Cool. Cool. Do I have everyone? Most of us are fine. Um, Sean. How you feeling over there, buddy? I'm feeling like this game hates me, but it's alright. Because, <laughs> because... It's telling a story. It's telling a story about me, like, freezing because I took a shower and, like, my sanity and, like, yeah, like, uh, I feel like I'm channeling Ryan, but it's all right. It's all good. You are the one who looked out the window, too, aren't you? No, I, uh, I think that was Michael. Michael. Yeah. No, I looked at the window and I fell. No, I didn't fail, but uh, you just had me take two sanity from that. Yeah. But it doesn't matter when you roll a 95. Okay. <laughs> okay. Da, da, da. Maximum sanity. Nope. Fail a... Terrence fail. Uh, yeah, you can, um, you can kind of decide how you act when you see a ghost re-entering Arthur's body. Does this ghost look like him? It does look like him. Uh... Alright, 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 th 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 this is enough, like, seriously, uh... I, I didn't believe any of this haunted crap, and, and now, now this, 
Oh, I, I, I'm out, I'm out of here. And I like run through this door. Boom. Oh. That's the evil hamster door. <laughs> he did it. What yeah, but I, I, I'm, I'm like going yeah, on? completely, I'm completely irrational, and like I just, I'm freaking out, and oh my god, what is that? The evil hamster. Um, as you open that door, uh, this thing springs out at you. And let's roll initiative. Okay, that's something I actually I don't know how to do. This. Yeah, where is the initiative? Dex check. Let's see. Do you know how to roll initiative, Bree, in roll 20? Uh, I do not. I am looking in the combat section, though. Not Dexterity sure. some. Dexterity yeah, Dexterity to turn up. tractor. Turn tracker. Yeah, it's in the combat section. Skills, combat, story spells. Oh, okay. That doesn't really give you a roll roll. No, I think it's just taking the decks, but you know, maybe that's how it works mechanically. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, hey, we'll be down the corner by the time this thing goes. What is. Okay. Rolling 1055 equals 1055. I feel like. <laughs> it's be it's dexterity is 1055. <laughs> I feel like that's incorrect. But since it was it's been attempting to get out of this door for a while. Um we're just gonna say. Important question. Important yeah. question. Uh-huh. Do we have guns? Do do me and Annabelle, since we're our little pistol whippers, do we have guns? I have a gun. I have a gun too. Okay. Yep. I have a shotgun on my sheet. Sweet. We all got guns. <laughs> and he's the brawler. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> okay. Um. Sanity loss is a D10 um, for experiencing this for the first time. Uh, if everyone will please roll a D10 as they see this thing grab for your friend. Chandler well, we were consistent with that. Uh, for going its usual attacks, a shambler attempts to latch onto a target with its claws. If successful, blah blah blah. Okay, grab. Clickety click. Um, it was so surprised that the door opened. It didn't get a good hold. Uh, Ace. Your your bodyguard brawler person freaked out, tried to run away, opened a door directly into the creepy hamster's face that's as tall as your bodyguard brawler friend. Um, what do you want to oh, do? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Reach in the purse, pull out the gun. It's okay. a spiffy gun, too. It's like half show, half um, half show gun, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nice little... And uh, I'm going to open fire. Nice. I feel like it has, like, pearl and gold inlay. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it has my name engraved on the side, too. It actually just has, like, an ace... Uh, symbol engraved on the side. <laughs> what you're saying is Calamity Jane was your hero. 
<laughs> Probably, yeah. Okay, um, I don't actually know how to attack with this um, okay. um, weapon, though. So, under your, uh... Did you put it on your character sheet, is the first question. Probably not. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. Wrong person. Uh, what kind of gun is it? Um, 9mm, I... 45. Uh, whichever one's smaller, probably. It's got to fit in the purse. Okay. Throw a revolver. There you go. Thank you. Yep, yep. Okay. Pow! Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I uh, I point it. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. He hasn't signed the f all of his paperwork yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this thing goes a little staggering. Uh, you guys all hear this huge boom in this tiny room. Uh, the scientist kind of ducks under a desk for cover. Uh, anything else, Ace? Um, no, that's it for me. Okay, Annabelle. Alright, uh, I'm not sure if this is how it is for her gun, but I know with my gun, I'm able to try and hit three times with one attack. Okay. It might be. Uh, she might what be. What kind of to... gun do you have? A machine gun? Uh, 45 revolver. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm gonna, you know, quick sign of the cross, pull out the handgun, and try and pow 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 it. Okay. Alright, uh, between the two of you guys, uh, this, you guys make quick work of it. And this thing kind of flops at uh, your friend's feet. Back off, Sean. I need to take pictures. <laughs> Get the hell away from that thing. We're out of initiative. I am moving up and taking pictures. Yeah, absolutely. I'm staying by the, uh, the scientist here, and I'm not gonna put my gun away. Just keep it by my side, see how this guy feels about it, because uh, at this point, Ace is feeling like she might have to shoot him, too. Cool. All right. What the hell is going on here? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content that you just saw, consider joining one of our games at Start Playing dot gaming forward slash roll with us dms